Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and today we're going to be unboxing this. It's the Mazda RX-7 R1 in 124th scale by Tamiya. Now this kit has been provided to me by Kent Models. However, all the opinions expressed in the video are that of my own and not of Kent Models. So firstly, as we look at the box here, you can see unusually for a Tamiya kit, this also comes with the engine. And you can see there, suggestions for red, the image is on the front, and then on the back, we've got it in competition yellow, and there's a close-up of the rotary engine. So we'll open it up and see what's inside. Kent models often give you um, a lot of things in there, sort of suggestions for other things that they have, uh, kind of paint ranges, things like that. And uh, if you're lucky, they might give you some stickers. Here we are, we've got the instruction manual. We've got a black sprue in there and the wheels as well. And a big bag with lots of things bodywork, all in black plastic piece, wheels, clear sprue and decals. The Mazda Motor Company of Japan is known throughout the world for their technological success in using rotary engines for both their racing and production cars. The first RX-7 sports car established worldwide fame as the Rotary Rocket following its introduction in 1978. This popular car underwent another styling change in October 1991 and Mazda hopes this third generation RX-7 will become the fastest mass-produced sports car ever and with unmatched acceleration. To achieve this, weight reduction was set as a major goal during its design, overall length and height were reduced and even the glass areas became smaller when compared to the previous model. The body shell uses a light and rigid space monocoque frame construction the muscular styling has an excellent drag coefficient of 0.30. Under its curvy hood lies a twin rotor Type 13B REW rotary engine with intercooler and sequential twin turbochargers. This 255 horsepower engine is mounted just behind the front axle, which is termed a forward midship format and provides an ideal weight distribution of 50-50 between the front and rear wheels. Suspension is four-wheel double wishbones supported by four aluminium arms with incorporated stabilising tow control. Mazda has once again succeeded in blending automotive technology into a beautifully styled RX-7 sports car. So as we look through, this kit uh, I think was from 1992, so it's got this kind of older style fold-out sheet. So we'll start by having a look in this one. As I said before, all of these sprues, apart from the wheels, are moulded in uh, kind of a glow, glossy black. So there we are. Bonnet looks very, very clean. The rear spoiler, disc brakes, number plate, suspension, exhaust, wing mirrors, pedals, wipers, Three wipers it looks like, so presumably one for the back. All very nice. This kit's nearly 30 years old. A little bit of flash around some of the sprues, but I can't really see much on the model itself. Well, and these also come with um, lenses for the uh, wing mirrors. Five spoke there, nothing too flashy, but quite nice. First, so we've got the interior tub there, we've got rear kind of child seats moulded in the back. Um, we've got part of the um, 
suspension, Put the steering from the front, it looks like it might be part of the console there. So and there you are, you can see right hand drive there. Interestingly, this one has got left hand drive. And also we've got more wipers, so I don't know, maybe uh, I guess it's that the that this one, these wipers must be for the left hand drive position. Some engine parts there, just nice detail on that. You can see actually that the word Mazda is printed on that. Not sure what that part is, because that must be part of the interior maybe. Steering wheel. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we've got the kind of undercarriage here, so you can see some of this engine detail is moulded in. So that's probably the radiator and another steering wheel. So yeah, two steering wheel options in this, that's quite nice. And these seats. Cool. And yeah, we've got the bodywork. So unusually for a Tamiya kit, you've got a openable bonnet on this. It's quite nice here. Um, there are some mould lines around here on the front. Most of it seems to be clear. This bar is just to kind of reinforce it, I believe. See on the back here, got a moulded RX-7 sign. Little pins for where the spoiler needs to go as well. But yeah, it's nice. I always liked the shape of the RX-7. Very 90s, but you know, I don't mind the 90s. Then we've got the tyres, and there's poly caps in here as well. I've just got out the one tyre. So yeah, a bit of a mould seam down there, but looks pretty nice. It says Advan on here. So those are pretty good, they look pretty pretty realistic. And yeah, all four are the same, I think. And then we've got the clear sprue and the decals. So interestingly, the um, kind of space for the wipers is molded into this. And then you've got the side windows molded in as well. The rear window is here. And then you've got this kind of very familiar looking joined up lights. We've got some indicators other things. Not quite sure what those are, but we'll find out. No window masks in this kit, of course, which is a bit of a shame. And then we've got this little decal sheet here. So you've got this kind of sunstrip here for the top. These are the old Mazda badges. Of course, this car was uh, at one point released under the Ifini brand. An American license plate and then this Mazda one. Unusual to see no Japanese license plates as options. So there we are, this is a really nice looking kit. Typical Tamiya quality. Thank you very much to Andy, Joe and Ben from Kent Models for sending this to me. Really looking forward to turning it into something interesting. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.